2014 Granite State football season is upon us. And this year, thanks to Dave Willis, a former lineman himself, my cameraman, he told me that we should take a little bit different look at football in the fall this, this year. You know, usually we talk to the pretty boys, talk to a lot of the guys that are this great. It's always rosy. There's always a, it's always a great preseason feeling. I wanted to get in the trenches this time around, talk to a couple of the grunts in this world. Um, I've got Austin Roboto and Pat Hughes of the Salem Blue Devils kicking this one off. Um, talk to me about how practice is going so far. It's going great. Intensity's up. Everyone's happy. Looking good. Kind of up and down season last year, Austin. Four and four and five, four and six. Four and, and six, yeah. Four and six. You guys just missed the playoffs. Tell me about Salem. How do you make the next step? Um, I feel like at the end of last season, we were stronger than we were and ever thought we would be last season at all. And I think it's a good place to start this year. Mm -hmm. We've been coming off strong, keeping the intensity up. And I think this is as hard as we've ever worked. Watching these guys open up practice early this morning. Coach was taking it easy on you, huh? Not, not too much uh, <laughs> conditioning. A little bit of crab running, a little bit of conditioning this morning. You guys are getting it easy, though. It hasn't been brutally hot out here. Yeah, today is one of the hotter days. But even though it hasn't been hot, we've been working. Mm -hmm. We've been working. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about the Salem offensive line. You guys, good. Play, you're at one guard, you're at the other. Yep. Is that the key in high school football? I mean, a lot of coaches say you got to win in the trenches, you got to win on the line. Tell me about why that's the key. Just got to keep working, getting yeah. stronger. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys aren't the biggest guys around. Are you sure we're okay in there? Yeah. I, I mean, mean, we work very well together. Mm -hmm. I've been playing guard with Pat since freshman year, mm -hmm. and a lot of the other guys on the line have had varsity playing experience. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll be ready. Now, optimism's up. Uh, you can tell there's a little bit of a, a excitement in the air here. You guys are looking to turn the corner. Yeah. Talk to me about the division. Who's good out there in the division? Um, Pinkerton. Pinkerton's always good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exeter. And Exeter. Okay. That's down the road, though. You got to get out of the south first. <laughs> yeah. Let's not push ourselves here, Pat. Right? <laughs> exactly. Okay. Um, Salem Blue Devils, stop number one on our summer trip here. Uh, are we? We're predicting playoffs here. We can we say that, or definitely. is that the goal? At least is that That's the goal? Definitely the goal. Yeah. Definitely. Playoff minded as they get through the practices right here in the August sun. All right, so we're here in Derry where the Pink and Astros are just getting ready to practice. Uh, pulled a couple of the Astro. Uh, tough guys are off the field here just for a few minutes to uh, discuss how things are going. I got Jason Hansen and I have Justin Portress. Um, Justin, we'll start with you. You look like the intelligent one of the two. Um, how have things been going so far? Pretty well. Pretty well. Yeah. Offensively and defensively. What are the expectations as you guys go into the season? Obviously here it's title town, so, you know, you're always thinking win a state title, but is that possible here? I mean, it's always a goal. Uh, I think we're going to do the same that we've done every year. I mean, uh, we expect to be in the same place as we were last year and the four years before that, so uh, we hope to do the same thing. Now, you're an offensive guard. Coach O'Reilly tells me you guys are big. Um, are you one of the smaller guys on the front line? I am one of the smaller guys on the front line. What's definitely. that like? Uh, well, size-wise, I mean, the tackles are pretty big. Uh, they got like a foot on me, basically, and mm. about 70 pounds. But I mean, I wake up for that and speed and uh, technique. And but everybody's pretty good in line. I mean, does that make it make for tough days in practice when you're going against them? Or? <laughs> yeah, uh, they beat the crap out of me usually. So okay. I mean, but uh, that's a good thing, right? Yeah. Because you know they're gonna be doing it to somebody else on, yeah, the, yeah. on I have Friday nights. Yeah, I have confidence in them and uh, everyone around me. So should All be right. good. All right. Believe it or not, Jason Hansen is not the kicker here in Pinkerton, even though he shares the name with the NFL great Jason Hansen. Um, you're a fullback and linebacker. Yeah. 
How are things in the backfield these days? Uh, we're looking pretty good. We have a lot of speed this year. Mm -hmm. uh, Manny is gone, but we still Urbanic's really fast. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Peter Sear at the other halfback right now. He's really fast. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of strength, too. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking pretty good, I think. Obviously, everyone looks at that and says, Manny Lattimore has moved on. Yeah. How are they going to recover? Talk to me a little bit about TJ Urbanic. He's really fast. And, uh, he, he reads holes really well. Uh, strong, mm -hmm. very strong. Uh, very smart, too. Mm -hmm. He knows his plays, and uh, I think he'll play very well this year. Now, Jason, I, I'm not a picker in the academy historian over here, but over the years they've had a couple of kids at the fullback spot that I can think of that have ended up having some big senior seasons. Yeah. Talk about your, your spot running the football. Uh, I mean, I love running the football. Uh, I think I uh, can uh, take over Matt Madden's position pretty well. Mm -hmm. Kevin Davies. And yeah, Kevin Davies, Matt Madden. There's been a bunch of them in the, going in the past. Is, is your play that fullback, tra fullback trap that we hear about so much in the swing tee? Yeah. Okay, so we'll be looking for that. Uh, how about defensively? How, how, how are you guys doing right We're now? We're looking really good defensively. Uh, we have a lot of returning starters, mm -hmm. a lot of defensive backs that are returning. I think all of our defensive backs are actually returning starters. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a linebacker returning starter. Mm -hmm. He's he's coming back this year. He played a lot of linebacker last year. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of uh, front line starters coming back. St Stu, uh, Noah Robinson, Bryson Pasoka. Again, you mentioned Madden, though. He was one of those special defensive players. Yeah. Can you re replace a, a defensive heart like that? I think we can. We uh... Are you that guy? Am I going to be walking around Friday night to hear the <laughs> crunching of the pads and know it's, it's the handsome kid making the hit? I, I might be. Uh, we have a lot of leaders this year. Mm -hmm. uh, Justin, I, uh, Riley, Cahill, uh, TJ Urbanic, we're all leaders this year, and I think we're uh, going to do very well. Okay, so focusing, focusing on the conference first. Who do, you, who do you think will be the top competition from the South? From the conference, I mean, Londonderry won't be that bad this year. Uh, we smashed them in the past, but uh, they're going to be pretty good. Alvarin's going to be pretty good, I heard. Um, I mean, we scrimmage support for this on Saturday, so that'll be a good test of uh, where we are, where mm -hmm. we're at. So I think we're going to be pretty good this year. Though. And obviously here at Pickett Academy, these guys are thinking big. Um, it's not unusual. You're the biggest enrollment in the state. People know you guys as, as, as uh, you know, one of the kings in Division One, and it's not a reason you get the I'm thinking the uh, state title here. We haven't mentioned Jack Hanley. You're gonna go, you guys gonna go three, four minutes now without talking about the quarterback. He's, he's returning. Jack Hanley. Uh, he's really good. Uh, I love Jack. He's very smart. He's a he's a really really great leader. And I think I'll have a really great season this year, too. Just goes to show you, they run first and throw throw as an afterthought here at Pickett and Academy. We all know that. But uh, that's just the way it's been. All right, so that's it with the Pickett and Academy Astros here in Derry. Getting ready. Another cool day. You guys have had it so easy this August. Every team has. Unbelievable. Oh. Stop from the summer tour takes us to Timberlane, where the Owls are currently scrimmaging with Wyndham High. I got uh, two linemen with me right here, getting their time out of the trenches while the freshmen take their time in. I got uh, Jake Heseltine and Mike Murphy. Um, how are the Owls looking so far, Jake? Uh, I mean, we're doing really well this year. Uh, last year we had a pretty rough season, um, but I think this year we're looking really promising. Uh, a lot of the youngers are stepping up. Um, Helping coaching him up, I think it's going to be a good year. All right, he's much too personable and, and uh, knowledgeable for alignment, smart for alignment. You got to be the down and dirty type, right? <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, probably a little bit. I'm probably more aggressive, but um, talk to me about your line right now. Uh, right now, uh, at the beginning of every season, you start out. The line starts out um, a little rusty, and it, you work on things, and we watch film, and we we learn from the film. And uh, eventually, we, we fix the mistakes. And by the time midseason hits, um, we should be all tuned up, ready to go, firing all the cylinders. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, this is the, the line that's going to lead this team to some wins this year. Uh, this is a, a line that has a, has a marquee guy behind you. Some marquee guy, big, big time running back behind you. What's it like under the pressure to open holes for him? I mean, that's Mr. Fury I'm talking about. No, no. I mean, it's it's, it's great to know that you know our efforts are actually going to go somewhere. Uh, knowing that when I make you know a solid block or when I pancake someone, and you know, I know that there's a hole there. I know that I can trust Tyler is going to run 15, 20, 30 yards down the field. You know, knock two people over on his way and score a touchdown. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I feel much more inspired having someone uh, like that on the team. You know, 
that being said, you know, I'm also happy I have, you know, someone like Jay Hughes, our quarterback, um, you know, such dedicated, uh, strong players who I know are going to be able to hold up their, their end of the team. Coming off of last year, talk to me. What, what are the expectations of camp? Uh, we got a lot of higher expectations this, for this, this season uh, than we did last season. We ended up 1-8 last year, and that's really not where we wanted to be. Lots of hitting drills. Yeah. Just Lots smashing. You know, we, we, put, we put on pads on Monday, and uh, when, when Monday comes around, it's shit, we smash. We line and smash each other. And, uh, you know, we keep doing that. We do some pass blocking drills. We do some run blocking drills. Sometimes we just go one on one drive blocking. So, um, we just smash each other until, until we get down there. All right, things get a little bit physical here in Ottawa country, where Tim Blaine sees that they're going to improve from that one and eight from last year. Washed away the old, and it's in with the new here at Londonderry. We're practice underway. Um, I've got Mike Ryan, Eric Fairweather, Matt Frieda, and this is not a player. This is actually a coach, guys. I know, you, I know you're not the starting quarterback. This is Jimmy Lowe's on the new coach at Londonderry High. Uh, for the record, Jim, how old are you? 25. All right. So that's the last time you'll be carded in Division 1. 25 going on 17. All right. So uh, we're here with the Lancers. Just wanted to check things out, see how things are going in the new camp. Is it what you expected, Jim, for a set coaching job? Yeah. Oh uh, no, it's se second. I'm, I was at West for. Okay. So. Um, no, it's it's been great. Uh, kids are really working hard and they're embracing everything that we're teaching them. Mm -hmm. um, it's a big change for them um, from where they came from last year. But um, you know, I've been welcomed with open arms by the players and the staff and, and everybody in London area. So uh, since I've gotten here, so um, I'm very uh, very happy about everything that's gone on. Now you look the, the smart guy in the bunch here, so I'll ask you, how, how have things oh. gone with, sorry again, how have things <laughs> gone with Coach the first couple weeks of transition? Uh, they've been great. It's a lot of it's big changes, but, you know, we're all working at it, and he's a great leader, so mm -hmm. can't complain about anything. You guys know that Coach Chip Kelly from the Philadelphia Eagles came from the state of New Hampshire, right? Manchester. Manchester. I know. So just just want to let you go. He's, <laughs> he's going to be part of that, I'm oh, guessing. Moving on. Moving on. Coach, yeah. coach kind of latched onto that, let you know he's part uh, of that group. Uh, yeah, 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 you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, how about you? What are your thoughts on the first couple of weeks? It's yeah. going great. I mean, it's a lot of hard work and everything, but we're putting in a lot of hard work, so it's going really good. Mm -hmm. Now, Mike, I see you're still in street clothes. Oh, yeah. Uh, you going to put the pads on at some point? Uh, uh, hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow. I just got over a broken leg. I mean, Mike had a leg injury last year. Missed all basically all last year. He had a great sophomore season. Yeah. He's on the comeback trail here. Um, but you're feeling better. Feeling great. That's good to hear. Now, what are the expectations, guys? First coaches for you, but this is you know your senior years here, right? I, I, and what's what are your expectations as we go as we go along here? I mean, we're just focused on week one right now. We just want to have a good year. Work hard. Okay, that's the stock answer. That's the one he gave me. How about you, Mike? <laughs> How about you, Mike? I, I mean, mean is we're, playoffs we're, are bust here? Or? We're, we're expecting a lot. I mean, yeah. we, we think really high of ourselves. We've been working real hard this offseason, mm -hmm. training all the time. I mean, he's putting in more work than I've seen any coach mm -hmm. I've ever been around do. So, I mean, that's helping us a real lot. I mean, should kick us off for the season. And that's what we're looking forward to. How about you, Matt? Uh, what, what are we thinking? How about the playoffs? Is that the goal here? I mean, just like others have said, I want to take a week by week, but we're expecting a lot out of us. A lot of changes this year, mm -hmm. and we're not expecting what happened in past previous years. Mm -hmm. well, we want some changes, so we're looking, aiming for big things. Jim, talk to me. What do you, what do you want your teams to be? What do you? What, what is your goal? What is the Jimmy Bowes on stamp? Here? I don't coach to lose. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we're we're out here to to win. We're we're planning on winning, but um, you know. Eric, Eric gave you the cliche answer, but it's 100% it's true. It's all we've talked about is VG. You know, we haven't talked about week two. We haven't talked about anybody else or the expectations. Um, you know, we had a team meeting, and I said I'm not big for one for goals because I better take it week by week. Football is such a week by week game, so um, it can change quick. For those of you who don't know yet, are we opening it up here? Are we running the spread? What, what are we going to see from London? Um, you know, it's. Uh, it's not all out Chip Kelly spread, um, but it's not as tight and close as you know single wing and stuff as been in the past. But there's nothing wrong. I mean, we'll do whatever it takes to win, and whatever the players we have, we'll tailor the system 
to uh, to be around them. So I mean, if we gotta spread it out, throw the ball, we'll do that. If we gotta, you know, tighten up the run ball, we'll do that as well. Promise me no spinny series. <laughs> Fair enough. No spinny series out of Longberry Lancer. <laughs> that makes me a happy man. Not a big fan of single wing coach. Just in case you didn't know.